Yo, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dante. Back at it again. Another performance review on the D's Row 6. I know I haven't been posting in a couple of days, but I've been waiting to really gain the full, you know, like full absorption of the shoe so I can I give it to you guys honestly and without just half assing it. So, first, we're gonna start off with the traction. You see, there's a carrying bone traction all the way through. It is very compressed and tight, so be careful with dust because dust will get stuck in there and debris will get stuck in there. And the court I played on was pretty clean today, but there's also some dusty spots. So just a couple wipes here and there and you'll be set. And would I recommend these outside? No, because the rubber is so soft as you can hear. So I wouldn't recommend these outside. If you do want to play with them outside, they will they will still play like indoors they will still stop on a dime the traction will still be good it was just the traction will fade off and wear down more faster <clears throat> next we're going to do cushioning as everyone knows the cushioning is boost as you can see it's full length boost it's more boost in the heel less than the forefoot but still but it's still you can still feel the boost in the forefoot but you can just feel it more in the back as you can see it has that little back like this, you see that extra rubber hanging off there, so the boost won't like, like uh, so you, mostly you won't, your heel won't roll over the shoe mostly, so when you stop your heel won't like, just roll, you mostly just stop right here, and the boost won't go over and make your foot roll, and that's why they uh, put the stable frame in here, so you can see, they have the stable frame in there, <coughs> so your foot, won't roll over the boost because the boost is so soft so you need stability to use a cushioning like this and my honest opinion about boost cushioning is at first it was a little stiff I kind of really noticed that it felt like any Nike Air or any other shoe really to me like it felt like any Nike the rectangle back where my foot started to cramp up my foot started like it started to hurt but after I broke it in I started jumping around more, started running more, it broke in really nice. And I was just wearing these around the house, so the stepping comfort's amazing. But when you actually step on the court and you start moving and you start running everything, you do feel the boost actually kick in. So you do kind of feel it compress and give you back energy in your legs, so you're not fatigued while you're running up and down the court. And the good part is, I'm not a big fan of heel cushioning. I really don't land on my heel like some people. I'm more of a you know, four foot player, so I like four foot cushioning, which this was perfect because it was a, it was boost in the four foot, but it wasn't extremely a lot. It was a good amount to where you could still kind of feel the core, but also enough where you would feel that comfortable ride and that kind of bouncy response. Now, would I prefer this over bounce cushioning? No, because I prefer more bouncy kind of Nike Zoom, Superfly un Unlock Zoom, like the flight plate. I prefer that kind of that kind of cushion. I like to feel bouncy. I like to feel like a cushioning could make me jump higher. I'm not saying this won't help you. I'm not saying this is not bouncy, but it's not bouncy as bounce. Of course, it's navy is bounce. But this will give you that kind of bounce back feeling, which is really nice. But it's not super, super like marshmallowy where you'll sink into the shoe and feel uncomfortable in it. It's a nice, firm boost in the forefoot. Nice and squishy in the heel if you like it. Nice and squishy in the heel. Firm in the forefoot to where if you do, if you are a forefoot player like me, you won't sink into the shoe. You'll feel right at home and it's very comfortable. Next, we're going to do the materials. You can see the materials is this like mesh glued, like a uh, kind of like the LeBron 12. It was that elite mesh. Most mostly it was just like a foam with mesh glued on it. As you can kind of hear, it's like mesh glued on top, so it is kind of a stiff shoe. <clears throat> but there are stiffer models of the Derrick Rose 6. With the colorways, it's kind of a hit and miss of which ones you get because they are all different, you know, different materials. But the best one probably to play in is the Prime Nut because it's a woven, it's softer on your foot. I'm not saying this wasn't soft or uncomfortable. It's just going to take a little more time to break in. And you can definitely notice that feel on your foot. It won't feel like a... It won't give you that feeling like there's nothing on your foot because you'll still kind of feel the toe. And there is a little bit of dead space on top. So I'd recommend going a half size down. I'm a size 10, 9.5 because I have a wide foot. 
So I would probably go down to a 10 where my toes would just be perfectly right there and hopefully it would cut off the dead space on top. Which Adidas have been having a lot of problems with that with the dead space on top. My Damian Lillard 9s, my, I mean my Damian Lillard 1s, which are 9.5, they still have that kind of dead space on top of their toe. And it's not, it's not where it's uncomfortable playing, but you can definitely notice it walking around in them. Next, we're going to get into support. You can see you have that over-exaggerated heel cup right here. It's that nice, soft plastic with these little seatbelt things that kind of work. Now, I when, when I originally saw these, when I saw the seatbelts, I thought these were going to like come together like this, you can see, and like wrap around your ankle. Which I'm not saying they don't, but just not to an extent, because this big fluffy tongue, it kind of gets in the way of everything tying up. So you can't, it, so it kind of looks like you don't have, so you're not strapped in all the way. But it's all in your head. Because soon, as soon as I started playing these, I laced them all the way. The support was phenomenal. I had no heel slippage because it is so padded inside. You won't have any heel slipping. It is so comfortable. And it has like this like kind of rough, like stubble feeling to where you, when you are running and your foot's sweating, you won't pop out. Because your the sweat from your sock will actually get on like the mesh in here or whatever this like foam is, and you're, there'll be no heel slipping, which is phenomenal. I actually wore them. I started off with a game of 21. I wore them like this. Didn't even lay some out, and I still had no heel slippage. I was locked in the shoe. Even if I went a half size up, so these are ten and a half, and I wasn't. It felt like a perfect fit for me, except for that dead space in the top and a little bit of roomy in the toe. But I, my foot wasn't popping out, then when I laced them up, I felt more secure, which is all in your head, guys. If you do prefer high top shoes, go ahead. I don't mind. I'm starting to get into, like, low top shoes because I like, I like that light feel it gives me, but these, these were just phenomenal after you laced them up. The support is great. There's no heel slipping. It's just, you're not going anywhere in these, so even if you try to roll your ankle, it's not going to happen. The only problem I would have with these... I'm just nitpicking, is these little nubs right here, I wish this was hair and bone, because sometimes, you know how the traction is so good when you stop, you kind of trip over yourself, This was that's how it was with these, but I wish these were right here, this was hair and bone, because sometimes I'd stop, and I'd trip over the traction, and would hair and bone make it better, maybe not, maybe, it doesn't matter, but... The shoe overall is super comfortable. It's phenomenal. Performance wise, I'd I'd get a pair. I'm recommending to you guys go get a pair. And if you do care about ventilation, this is not a big strong model for ventilation because of this glued mesh. There's not really any airflow. And even with this mesh tongue right here, it's so padded to where even if you try to have some airflow, it's gonna be minimal at best. You could probably get some airflow, maybe through this gap, maybe, but it's highly doubtable. So, I wouldn't recommend these for people who don't like sweaty feet. Like, if you like, if you if ventilation is a big deal to you, then go with the Prime Net version. But you're just gonna be paying more for them, cause there's not really any shoe that's gonna give you extreme breath breathability unless you know you're wearing swim shoes, the little fucking things you put your toes in, you go swimming when you're a kid. But it doesn't matter. But my overall opinion on these guys, this is a this is a dope shoe. It's amazing. It's probably will it be in my rotation? I don't know. I still have to play in it some more. I have to get used to the boost. I have to, you know, get used to everything before I start putting shoes in my rotation. My number one shoe in my rotation is my Damian Lillard one. Those are phenomenal. But guys, that's mostly it. Thank you for watching this video. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, Leonardo the bitches and uh, thank you for all your support guys thank you for making my channel grow thank you thank you so much for hit, uh, letting my Damian Lillard Rip City colorway video hit a hundred views that's so amazing I remember looking at it when it only got